Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kyo Doka. I'm Ryu Sei. Today I'm going to make Toritsukune. Actually, my viewer gave me a request of Toritsukune. I really appreciate it. I'll introduce how to make the original sauce and how to heat Tsukune well. And I'll introduce Japanese knives as well. I hope this video will be interesting and informative for you. Yes, let's make it. These are Japanese knives which I'll use today. Deba, Mukimono, and Usuba knife. First, I'll use Usuba knife. This is a spring onion. It's called Naganegi in Japan. At first, I cut off the edges of the green part. I'll use them to make sauce after that. Today, I'll use a half of it. And I divide it into green part and white part. Okay. Then I cut it into half. Nice. I chop them finely. I cut it as thinly as possible. Good. I transfer it to a bowl. I miss the white part as well. You can miss it any way you like. I introduce one way to miss it. I make finely cuts to half of it diagonally. Okay, I turn over it. And I make cuts in the same way, I keep the knife at the same angle, diagonal. Good, finally, I chop it as usual. I move Usuba knife back and forth widely. Okay, like this. I transfer it to the bowl as well. I set it aside. And this is 30 grams of the chicken skin. Yesterday, I removed the excess water and kept it in the freezer. The skin of the chicken adds the fat and good flavor to tsukune. Okay, I'll use deba knife because frozen skin is a bit firm. That's why I use deba knife which is adequate to cut the firm ingredients. If the skin is raw, it's so slimy and it's difficult to miss it. So I recommend to prepare the frozen skin. I miss it as finely as possible. If you don't like or don't have the skin, the ground chicken is substitute. Okay, I miss it and I transfer it to a bit large bowl. Okay, this is 50 grams of chicken cartilage. In Japan, chicken cartilage is sold in the butcher. The chicken cartilage creates unique crunchy texture. If you get it, please try to add it. I also use Deva knife, because chicken cartilage is firm as well. Using an adequate knife makes the work more efficient. We can put power easily using Deva knife. I mince them finely. And I chop them by using bottom side of the knife. Okay, I've missed the skin and the cartilage. If you don't have them, you can use ground chicken instead of them. This is 300 grams of ground chicken. I add it into the same bowl. I mix them well until the meat becomes sticky and white. Good. It has become white and sticky. Okay, these are other ingredients. This is a recipe. I add them into the meat. Sugar, miso, sake, soy sauce, egg, at last potato starch. I mix them well. I distribute the other ingredients to the meat. Okay, I add chopped spring onion. I mix them again. Okay, the parties are done. Next, I'll prepare the sauce before grilling the parties. These are sauce ingredients. And this is a recipe.
I warm the bun over medium heat. I grate the meat and spring onion. I'll use a small portion of the patties to make thick and rich sauce. This is the key to turn the sauce into a restaurant quality sauce. Okay, I brown them. Yes, nice browned. Melade reaction adds the amazing flavor to the sauce. And spring onion also adds nice fragrance. Once I brown them, I turn off the heat and cool down the pan. When the pan has cooled down, I add seasonings to the pan. I added 30 grams of sake and 30 grams of mirin, 30 grams of soy sauce. At last, 10 grams of sugar. Okay, I turn on the heat. Once the sauce boils, I turn down the heat. And simmer it down to extract the flavor and fragrance from the chicken and spring onion. I simmer it for 3 minutes. I turn off the heat. I set it aside. Then, I'll prepare sisal leaves as a garnish. In Japan, these leaves are called oba or ao shiso. I'll use a mukimono knife. This knife is lighter than usuba knife. I make a cut like this, and I chop them into strips. Mukimono knife is very light, and this is made of stainless. I often use it to cut vegetables. Okay, I transfer them to a container. I cover it with a wet paper towel not to dry. I keep it in the fridge. Next, I divide the patties into 6 portions. These patties are very soft, and it's difficult to make them into shapes like hamburger steak. So I just divide them. Okay, I'm ready to cook them. I turn on the heat. I add salt oil and spread it. Once the oil splits, I turn off the heat. Then I place the patties on the pan. I arrange the shape with a spatula. Okay, I place all patties on the pan as well. Good. I turn off the heat again. I cook them for a few minutes. Once the pan is heated well, I turn down the heat and I add 30 grams of water. Immediately, I cover it with a lid and steam the patties. I steam them for 5 minutes over medium heat. 5 minutes later, it is difficult to turn over the soft patties, so I steam the outside to turn over them easily. The appearance of them becomes white, and the outside becomes firm. I turn up the heat too high, and I evaporate the excess water and concentrate the flavor of the juice. The water has reduced. I turn over them. Nice brown. I brown the opposite side as well. It is important to brown them to make a beautiful and shiny look. Okay, I turn over them again. This side is the surface of tsukune. And then, I add the sauce into the pan. Good. I put the sauce to them over and over again. And I simmer the sauce down to make it rich and sticky. When I keep heating the sauce, it reduces and becomes dark brown and rich. I turn over them and cook them one more minute over low heat. If the heat is high, the sauce becomes too sticky and burns so easily. Amazing! Perfect look. Okay, turn off the heat. Reducing the sauce makes tsukune beautiful and shiny. 
this look really stimulates our appetite. Yes, let's arrange them on a plate. Nice. And we can use bamboo scores as well. This is yakitori style. Great. Finally, I top over on it. Toritsukune is done. I hope you will enjoy it. Perfect. Thank you. Did you enjoy? Toritsukune is one of my favorite ground chicken recipe. Today I use the skin and the cartilage of the chicken. If you get them, please try to add them. It's so delicious. I hope you will enjoy Toritsukune. Thank you for watching to the end. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a nice day. See you later.